Welcome to the 8th edition of the 10 Life Hacks for PVC. Let's begin. If you have a dog and you keep him or her behind the fence, sometimes they get real excited they might want to jump over the fence. Here's a great way to help prevent that. On the vertical bar going up here from this gate, I've connected, this is a one inch coupling to a one inch piece of PVC to a 90 degree and to another bar that runs down the length of this gate. Now on the top of it, I have a four inch piece of PVC. Now three inch, four inch will work good because it spins real easy on the top. So as the dog tries to jump over, it just spins on them and it keeps them inside the gate. Now if by chance you don't have a vertical bar like this and you have more just a horizontal, you can always take a 90 degree angle of iron, of uh, metal, bracketry, whatever you want to call it, and put it here so that you can maybe string some wire across and hold your initial one inch bar here. And that way, again, as the dog tries to jump up, it's just going to spin on them and they're not going to be able to get over easy. Now it's a great way to keep your dog in the fence. If you ever work with buckets a lot, you'll notice that the handle grips that they put on here, well, they're not very strong and if you're lifting a bunch of weight they will either crack or possibly even just break off. Well, I've taken a piece of three quarter inch PVC and it fits nicely. It was able to fit over the little hook here and it provides a nice little hand grip which is now even bigger of course than the original so now you can grab it. It's easier on your hand and it should last a heck of a lot longer than the original. Do you have a pair of gloves that you use a lot and get all sweaty or you put them in a washing machine and they just, they need the time to dry, but you can't put them in a dryer because that could easily, well, the heat could just ruin your gloves or shrink them. Our viewer named Jean8321 mentioned that she made a glove dryer. And so, I built one myself. Now, this is very simple. I just use a T here with some 90 degrees and some long pipes so that they can, the gloves can slide over the top here. Just like so. And I did a double here. The great thing about this is this is easily expandable. Instead of putting a T way on one end, you can put a four way and just extend it out however many you need. So there's a great way to dry your gloves. For those of you who are avid hunters, if you sit out in, whether it's in your tree stand or maybe in your duck blind or whatever you have, and I'm sure after a while, holding your gun, especially if you're trying to, if you're standing, it just can get, well, tiring. Well, I had a viewer named Cody Atkins that had a great idea. He built something similar to this. It's basically a square base with a T coming up. This is all three quarter inch PVC. And at the top, I changed it up a little bit. This is actually a corner piece with a couple extra pieces sticking out, give it a little broader grab, and you just take your gun, and it fits nice and steady right in there. You, you have the base, your, your, the butt of the gun sitting down here, which adds weight to it, and adds nice stability for it. Now he added an additional piece. Instead of the T here, he added a four-way right in its place. And the reason being is that in his uh, blind that he was in, he had a stake that he would stick in the ground and he would slide this directly over the stake, which would create even more stability. But there's a great way to hold your gun if you're a hunter. A lot of ladies have this specialty type clothing. It's real thin material and if they stay on a hanger, especially these real small hangers for a long period of time, they can create a crease right here in the leg. Well, you don't want that. so. If you happen to have a spare piece of PVC, this happens to be half inch, I cut it along the bottom there and slid it over the hanger. And now you can take some of your clothing and hang it over this and there's more area going around the circle there to give it a less chance of creating that crease. This next tip comes to you from one of my viewers called Mr. Grunt Hunter's Adventure. He suggests taking a piece of three foot long, one inch PVC pipe and drilling a hole on the ends here. Now I just made a groove, but put a hole or a groove on each end. You want it to be in line with each other. And by doing that, this is a great uh, rod, you could say, that whenever you're, say, a hunter or a hiker, if you carry this with you, 
you're going to be going through barbed wire fences when you pass through fields at some point. So, if you have this, you can now take the top groove here, stick it in a barbed wire, and then you take your hand or your foot and pull down on the other piece of barbed wire, and you can hook it on the bottom groove. And now you can have a three foot area to pass through. That way you don't get hung up or scratched so bad. Now I took his idea and I also uh, did a little bit extra. He suggested to even put a cord on it so that it's easy to carry. So you can throw it over your back or over your shoulder. And that way you can carry it along. You don't have to worry about it getting in the way. Now what I did is I took a piece of paracord here and this is a hundred foot long paracord. Yeah, I took it and went through, he has a hole that goes through here and I have another one that goes through on the inner end and I attached it, tied a knot and then I just wrapped the cord all the way around the pipe. This is 100 feet and being that it's orange it also makes it really easy to spot out in the woods. So say you accidentally leave it in a fence or lean it against a tree and it falls and you forget where you put it, at least you can spot it fairly easy being orange. Also another great thing is a lot of people love to carry extra stuff especially in PVC so if you grab a couple end caps you can also put one on each end here and by doing that now you have a somewhat sealed tube maybe you have uh, a small fishing rod or some other life-saving things that you want to put inside maybe some uh, safety items like a uh, bandages or things along those lines in case you get injured out there you can also keep that fairly well dry also, another great thing about this is that not only is it a good hiking stick, but just in case you have some, maybe a wolf or something come up to you, you at least have an initial rod that you can jam in its face and hopefully give you a little extra added protection. Well, there's a great way to use some 1-inch PVC when you're out hiking or hunting. If you do a lot of work with clothing, maybe you're a small retail store, or maybe you do a little side business at home and you just can't really afford a full-blown mannequin? Well, here's a great way to make one using some three-quarter inch PVC pipe. I also have eight T connectors and four 45 degree angle connectors. That allows you to make the legs and the arms and the head real easy and it's self-standing. As you see here, it does not need any outside help. You can easily attach some clothing to it also, a great thing about having this mannequin is it makes a great display for, say, Halloween or any other holiday in which you want something that looks like a person standing up tall. And that is a great way to make a mannequin using PVC. Some of you may have seen the life hack where they take a pool noodle and they put it up against the wall and they put a bolt through it here. And that way, as somebody swings your car door open, it bounces off this car noodle and doesn't mess up your wall or your door. Well that is a great hack unless you're like myself and you have a bunch of stuff against the wall. Well here's a great idea to fix that. You still use your standard pool noodle but in this case I got a piece of half inch PVC that runs all the way through it and then I have some paracord that just hangs it from above and that way instead of you damaging some of the stuff that might be in your in your garage here your door will bounce off of that and it's less likely to hurt anything this is also great when you are changing your vehicle so if you get a taller vehicle or a shorter vehicle you can just adjust the length of your rope and you don't have to worry about having holes in your wall from where you had it previously installed does anybody like to play with water balloons well here's a great filling station to accompany that. I have all this is half inch PVC and fittings. Now I have a base down here that keeps it nice and sturdy with a little hose connector. Now this comes up about three feet. I have a 90 degree angle and it goes out to a couple four ways. Now off of these four ways I got some pipe that goes out in four different directions. At the end of each of these pipes you will need one of these shut off valves. And that way you can open it up like so fill up the balloon and shut it back off. That way four people can fill up the balloons at the same time. Now, being that this outlet here and some of the half inch PVC can be a little bit too big for some of the balloons, I have here some half inch C PVC. Now I found out that this coupling for the C PVC fits nicely inside of the shut off valve. And that way you can throw a little glue in there and that way it'll stay nice and sturdy. 
Now this will come out and this steps it down. So now you can take one of your standard side balloons and slide it over. And then you can go up here. Somebody will hold this at one hand and you turn it, open the valve with the other, fill up the balloon, turn the valve back off. And now you can take your balloon and chunk it at somebody. Which is a great way to have a filling station for a water balloon fight. If you have kids and they have any kind of a, a Nerf gun or something along those lines, well, they're always chasing something and wanting to shoot something. So instead of shooting the cat or the dog, I created this nice little stand. It has a T at the bottom with the legs, has one pipe going up to an elbow, and across and back down the same on the other side. You got some strings, and they're just holding some cups. So now, instead of shooting one of the animals, your kids can shoot these cups and have fun playing. It's a great way for them to use their guns. If you enjoyed these projects, make sure you click that like button and tell us what you think about it in the comments. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Have fun building.